Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I want to share with you guys three bases. Yes, three bases today and I will talk a little more about why exactly and everything and I will show you guys uh, the bases in a second. But before that I have one question for you guys. And this question is kind of related to the last update and kind of related to the super troops because normally whenever an update hits, after that as a content creator, you have so many possibilities of creating videos on the new topics, on the new features and everything. But I've had like for, I don't know, for the super troops, which was kind of, which was the big feature in that sense in this update, it felt a little bit strange. It felt really, really hard because if I take a look at the troops, like Super Baron, we did the Super Budge video, uh, Super Warbreaker, I mean, it's really hard to do an extra video on that. Like, I don't know, like everyone is using them or like if you want to use Warbreakers, most of the people are using them. I would do for sure a super giant video. I have not, like I have the cooldown, so I, I can't upgrade them yet. We did the sneaky goblin blim, so I don't know. Maybe only, it's only me who's feeling that way. But let me guys know if you guys feel the same way or if I'm just strange, kinda. So that would be kinda nice if you guys would like to answer that. And well then, Guys, since there are new offers in the game, and I know maybe a couple of you guys will buy them. Um, for me, I think the only thing which is kind of worth it. I don't know. I think I would go for the for the books, even though this time it's the most expensive one. But yeah, either way, if you guys are buying any of those, make sure to use a creator code. If you would like to support me or my channel, you can find my creator code just at the bottom. Settings, more settings at the bottom. Creator boost code. If you want to support me, just use the code ITSU. And guys, thank you so much for the support. And now let's get started with the three bases. And as you guys see, I dropped out of Legend. I dropped out of Legend for a really long time, actually. And, <clears throat> and what this does, this means your normal home village is the defending base. For everyone who was never in Legend League, in Legend League it works that you can actually select any base to make your defending base which means like if people are spying you like for example if someone would spy my base they would see the the itsu base um but it wouldn't be my actual defending base that's kind of the nice thing about legend league but in titans or lower that's not the case so i thought like okay with this base i'm getting completely slaughtered i'm getting murdered and i'm getting three shot non non-stop basically but when i saw this i was kind of surprised so it's actually funny how many people are up there without having too much clue of what they're doing. Especially this guy is super rushed and I, I don't know what exactly he's doing, but I found it kind of funny. And actually this is going to be the first base which I want to share with you guys. Yes, the next two bases are going to be more serious bases. But if you would like to support me, like kind of join the Itsu fam, whatever, um, you can just activate the base. and. Just take a look at this tag. I found it so funny. It was actually hilarious. Um, he's going obviously for the storages. This is what a lot of people are, do are doing. Going for the resources. I don't mind that. It's it's fine. But um, yeah, it's for me, it's funny, funny. Um, how do you say that? Funny content. So I take the deals. <laughs> um, but yeah, at the bottom, the RAM. I don't know. Let, let's just skip that. Let's just skip that one. So... I want to show you guys three bases. Those are the three which I want to show you guys. The left one is kind of like the more funny one. Um, so for all of you guys who are in Legend League and if you want to show the it's the support. But now we have the two more ones, uh, two more bases on the right side. Um, both of them are built by the RH base building team which are supporting us within, in Tribe as well. Like they're building bases for us and everything. Um, obviously like couple of our base builders in the team are building as well like from for example i'm building as well lex is building if he has time and stuff like that so those two bases were built by them and uh yeah if you would like to support them as well or check them out i will link their discord server down below in the description but what we should do for now let's check out the bases and if as you guys know when i'm doing a base video i'm not only showing the base and say yeah this is a good base you can copy that let's go no, I'm always trying to explain to you guys a bit more about what the base builder thought and everything because one big thing to note on those bases or like on on, on base uh, videos like this it's um, those bases are not 100% tested and this is kind of the, the funny thing about those videos because I was thinking about doing base videos more often 
and showing like a bigger variety of, of, of bases, which means basically like I uh, won't show only one base, I will show more like two to three bases per video. And the only downside of this is obviously when I'm showing that many bases, I can't test all of them. That's just not possible. So those bases are more like ideas, which you guys can use. I don't know if they would 100% work, but the good thing about that, since there will be so many bases, if you guys like the idea, because that's kind of important. If you guys don't like the idea, I won't do it. But let me guys know down below in the description, at uh, down below in the description, down below in the comment section, if you guys would like to have more bases of mine, or if you guys would uh, like the, like it how we had it so far with like me uploading a, a base video maybe once a month. Um, but this base is really well tested. Let me guys know what you like more because those bases are nice as well, but they're not 100% tested like I, my regular base, which I normally upload. So that would be kind of nice to know. But for now, let me explain a bit more what exactly is, uh, is the idea behind this base. So normally everyone is using e um from the left side, which is kind of obvious with the sweepers and everything. But as you guys knew, or as you guys saw, in the Cloud21 video, the dragons are going like to the left, to the right, and they are not going to the town hall. And that's due to the kind of the, like this dead zone around the town hall, which is kind of nice. And well, we have a lot of ground expos. One more thing about this base, if you want to use it, don't use like a triple ice golem CC, because the idea behind those bases for the clan castles kind of from the outside, you want to make it that it's really hard and annoying to lure, which basically means that you need to have like those trash CCs, like a lot of archers, maybe like 33 archers and like one witch or like a lot of, arch a lot of archers and then a couple of goblins. Stuff like that are on bases like this kind of kind of good. But um, well, that's that's how you fill the clan castle over here. And yeah, that's that's about the base. You have those small bombs on the outside. You have the spring traps around the inferno tower um, compartments, which means they're kind of nicely triggered. And then tornado trap over there because most of the, like I said, most of the dragon attackers are going in from over there. And yeah, like I said, the, um, the, the base link is going to be in the description. But now let's check out the second base. I think this one I used for a couple of days and Legend League was defending pretty well. Um, we have the scatter shots in the core, kind of close to each other, kind of like the other base. It, those setups are working the best, I feel like, in Legend League. And then... The expos around the town hall, once again, a lot of ground expos. On a base like this, you can put more like Ice Golem Focus uh, Clan Castle in there, but you can put a Hound in there as well. It's kind of nice because if the Yetis are not making it to the town hall, most of the time you're relying on either the Royal Champ or the Queen to take the town hall down. But if you have a Lava Hound flying around, it's kind of risky to drop or like to have your Queen actually relying on taking out something because those heroes are stuck for so long on the Hound that it's kind of likely that those Expos are melting your hero. So that's that's the idea behind that. So you can use a Hound on this one as well if you would like to. Um, other, other than that, we have the Bomb Towers close to the Scatter Shots just to have like this explosive damage around there even more. And then a couple of traps on the right side if someone would like to charge over there. And most of the traps more like in the core because most of the people are tending to come in from the six from the 12 o'clock side mostly from the six o'clock side this is why there are so many traps and uh yeah that's kind of the idea of this base i hope one of those bases will work for you guys and um well that's that's kind of it for the bases like i said all three base links will be down below in the description if you guys would like to support me even more there's an easy way to do so just get in your settings and more settings and at the bottom you can find the creator code Right now there are once again some offers, that's what I'm saying, that's why I'm telling you that to you guys. Um, I don't know, I don't I don't feel like they're the best, but I think the best might be the triple threat. Uh, even though it's the most expensive this one, but as you guys know, uh, I'm always saying like uh, what I think and what I would buy on my own. Most of the time I'm, I'm telling you guys that the cheapest is the best. I feel like, I don't know, books are worth the most in the game right now. I don't like... Like the Rune of Elixir, you can farm that, so why would you buy that? Um, the Hero Potions and the Training Potions and the Elixir. And the Elixir makes this kind of once again so expensive, but at the same time kind of useless because once again, I don't like spending money on resources because you, if you're active, you can just farm that, right? Like, why would you buy them? So that's just my, my opinion on that. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
let me guys know my two big questions for you guys first off the question re regarding the super troops and then obviously if you guys would like to see more bases like uh, more videos like this with more bases um let me guys know that would be awesome to hear um would be awesome to hear uh so i have for the future better idea of what you guys would like to see either way thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys back tomorrow for another video see you guys until then bye bye